hello guys how are you okay i have been asked several time about uh, how can we calculate some of uh, different selected draws and uh, in the last video i had created an application which uh, shows the sum of rows above the last row let me show you see this was the application that i had created in the last video and uh, this last row shows the sum of all the above rows here so what i'm going to do is if i select this single row any of this single row this last row should show the values of that single row otherwise if i select different multiple selected rows like this uh, if I select these two multiple rows then it this last uh, row should show the sum of only these two selected rows this is a very common question and uh, many people are waiting for uh, this video so I hope this video will be very useful for everyone and I hope you will like and share my video so let's continue guys first of all what we have to do is we need to set default tag here we will keep all the rows unselected by default now after that we need to work with two functions uh, first function will be working in our single click and the second function will be called when we work with multiple select uh, multiple raw selection with control button and mouse click so here I am going to bind two functions here button one means the mouse click and the second function will be guys this video uh, may be little lengthy but it will be very useful so watch the entire video so you won't miss anything and each and every step is very important for you here we will work with control button and mouse click so control dash button dash one and here we will work with uh, another function which will be our select multi okay so let's uh, create these two functions here I will do my best to uh, explain you each and every step I am doing this is for single click uh, single row okay and this function is for multiple row selection uh, let me show you here we will print some message single row and here print multiple row right let's try it okay you can see if i click any row it's uh, it's showing me single row but if i press control button and then i select another row it will print multiple row even if i unselect this it will print multiple row because I have my finger on control button okay when I keep pressing control key and select any row it will print multiple row okay guys so let's continue for single selection first we need the row ID of course because this row ID will be very helpful to identify the row if you missed my previous video please watch that so 
uh, many things will be clear to you tv dot identify raw event dot y and uh, here we need also tag tv dot um, item raw id and we need tags now here i will check if raw is unselected then we need to change its tag to selected if tag is unselected then tv.item raw id and text will be selected okay and let me show you here print tv.item raw id and current text even dot y oh. okay see here hmm wait i did some mistake here okay see i did tags on wrong uh, raw which is our total uh, values raw i did mistake here actually we need to do this here okay sorry for that mistake i did not notice that mm, okay okay see this now if i select any row it's printing selected by default all rows are unselected but when i click sell, uh, any row it turns to selected okay now here oh, sorry here we need to do same thing row id tv dot identify row event dot y and then tag tv dot item raw id tags okay but now here we need to work with select and unselect in this uh, single selection we don't need to turn our tag to unselect if the raw is same if I click let me show you uh, let's suppose if I click this it select uh, it turns to selected but if I again click this it must be keep selected because it's single selection but in multiple selection if I uh, select this raw then it turns to select and if I click again it turns to unselect this is for multiple selection that's why I'm going to check here if tag unselected then tv.item row id and text will be selected but if it's already selected then we use else tv dot item row id text unselected it's uh, back to unselected state now here let me show you by printing it the current state of our raw tv dot item raw id and tags 
guys if you did not uh, subscribe to my channel i request you please subscribe my channel and uh, press bell icon too i will keep uh, bringing more useful videos for you now see i am doing multiple selection banana shake it's selected but if i unselect this it must be unselected you can see it's working if i uh, select orange it's selected if i select banana it's selected if i unselect banana it's unselected now only those two rows are selected okay so let's continue our coding here we are uh, almost done with the two uh, selections of uh, functions now we need to create another function which will calculate the values of selected rows calculate now and here what we need is first we need to get the last row id which will be updated on our selections so last row tv dot get children and here we will simple negative one to get the last row okay now we need to set some variables total quantity zero total unit price total unit price zero total uh, amount zero what are these two uh, what are these three variables you can see here these are the three variables I'm using to uh, show a total quantity of products and total unit price uh, for products and the last uh, variable will be used to calculate uh, a total price according to the quantity of selected product okay these variables are newly created in this function now here i will loop through all the rows in the table so for i in tv dot cat children here i will simply use try and then i will check if tv dot item i and tax i will check if tax is selected then include that draw to the calculations okay now here i will simply update these variables but first we need to get item values values of that raw so tv dot item i and uh, here we need values and here total quantity will be item one total price will be item index two and total amount will be item one multiply item two quantity multiply by price right guys now here we need to set accept as well okay out of for loop we need to simply update the values of our last row so tv dot item last row id and values will be this 
total values total quantity total uh, price total amount okay guys let's try it if I select this okay one thing I did not call calculate function here calculate now and same for this single row calculate now okay mm. here you see it's printing zero why it's printing zero let me show you the uh, this should be quantity should be integer value and price and total amount should be float value so we need to convert it to integer and uh, here float and here float now let's try it 10 right 15 you know uh, why it's uh, showing wrong values because it it keeps selecting the values which are already unselected the reason is that I did not reset their tags so we need to reset their tags here for single selection function here we go for I in TV dot cat children and TV dot item I simple is that we need to reset the tag to unselected simple is that now it will be correct our calculations you can see this now if I select mango and banana shake it's showing me correct and let's add orange it's working right now let's remove mango it's working right now one more thing you can see this value 25.439999998 like that so let's uh, format this to and the total price is showing zero so let's uh, fix that as well here we go we will use format total PRC okay and same here to F format total amount right let's try it oh -ho. okay it's showing correct but uh, here we are saying zero zero it should be fixed like this and it will be okay now okay guys you can see this now I hope it's working good I hope you like this video and I hope you understand what I did it will be very useful for you guys I hope you will keep supporting my channel by appreciating my efforts like and share my video please and subscribe to my channel guys See you in next useful video. Thank you guys. Goodbye.